I was born with one hand and the doctors didn't think that my mom would want me. They immediately wanted to put me up for adoption. Um, and my mom said, no, she wanted to keep me. My name is Matia Vision and I'm a children's book author. When I was a child, my mom and I became homeless. I lived in a shelter and it was one of Women in Need's first shelters. And it helped my mom and I get back on our feet. I started my own company. I married a wonderful human being. We've written over 10 children's books. You can accomplish anything. When I was born, my mother was an unwed teen mom. And so my grandparents sent her to an unwed mother's home in Staten Island where she had me. My stepfather used to call me names. He would constantly belittle me. He would hit me all the time. He would just basically treat me like I wasn't worthy to be alive. And that's what I felt, you know, every time I woke up when I went to bed at night. First, I didn't even say anything because I didn't want to be a bother. I didn't want to be a weight to my mom, and I just didn't want to cause trouble. And so, you know, you just try to be strong. Eventually, my mom did pick up on things being wrong, you know, not quite right, and I was able to share some degree of it, and she ended up leaving him. We moved in with a friend, and then we moved in with my grandparents. I must have moved over 30 times over, you know, my short my mom childhood period. fought with depression and, you know, alcoholism. My mom would not show up, you know, for a week or two at a time. She would be all battered, and then, you know, with a black eye and bruised up. I remember and, you know, really she was bad giving me shape. things, like her ring and her necklace. It felt like she was saying goodbye. Bye. You know, I made her pinky promise, you know, that she would never kill herself. Women in Need offered counseling and they offered guidance. My mom got involved in non-traditional employment opportunity for women. It meant that she'd be able to maintain sobriety. You know, it meant that she'd be able to get out of an unhealthy relationship. It meant to her, you know, a better future for her and me. Women in Need gave me my first job as a teenager. It was the first time that I was actually earning my own money and gave me some spending money, which is really big for a kid. I also learned about volunteering and the spirit of giving back. One thing that makes me an awesome human being is if we hadn't had the resource of women in need stepping in, that would have been a tragedy. It would have not only affected my mom, but it would also have affected my ability to dream. I did no wrong. It's amazing to think that I was living in a homeless shelter at one time, and today our five children have space to run around in a home that we purchased and we've created. My husband is a musician, he's a songwriter. Our daughters just came out with their first CD. You can always count on me, I got your back. I hope my example inspires every child that I meet to realize that even though they may feel like they are in circumstances that are out of their control, that they are able to make choices to break the chain. If there was no women in need, I don't even know what the picture could be. My mother never went backwards. I am very grateful to Women in Need for stepping in and rescuing us at that particular stage in our lives. I got your back, this is no act, no matter where you are, I'll be there for you. You can always count on me, I got your back. I got your back, this is no